So you know that NC State Coach Moore is expecting her just to continue to be consistent. She's just a sophomore, still trying to get the rhythm with this team. So hopefully she can have a good night. Great to have you with us. We are underway from the Dome. Georgia Woolley fires and misses just short. Nearly a quick lightning strike to begin the new year. Happy New Year, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed your holiday weekend. It's been a great day of ACC women's basketball, and this will wrap up the weekend and get 2023 started. Jada Boyd's first shot won't fall. Woolley secures the rebound, gets it over to Fair. Syracuse looking to play fast. Woolley drives down the boulevard and scores. We talked about Woolley with Coach Jack. She said she brought her from Buffalo for a reason, and she is a capable scorer for this Syracuse team, already getting on the board early in this one. Woolley making her ninth start of the year. Starting lineups presented by your local Toyota dealers. Visit your local Toyota dealer today. NC State has won the last five meetings against Syracuse, and that's a nice dish. Camille Hobby the finish with the rim. And early in this when NC State trying to get the ball inside, they know they can be dominant and get points. They have the size and height advantage in this one. Kyra Wood makes her second start of the season tonight, draws the foul. Ironically, not a transfer from Buffalo. She transferred from Temple. Temple. <laughs> you know, she's coming here really trying to establish a new culture for this Syracuse ball club. Foul was on NC State's post, Camille Hobby, in and out. You know, I'm sure Coach Lego Jack, she's happy to see that they're aggressive early in this one. Hobby has all four for NC State as the Wolfpack take the lead. Woolley, trailer, triple. Comes up short, long rebound, finds Fair. And it's going the other way, NC State ball. That is something that you really want from your coach. So look for her to be aggressive. She's not going to stop shooting the ball. River Baldwin, the first Wolfpack sub in the game, and quickly. He wants to see more of that in this Syracuse, in this game against Syracuse this evening. Asia Strong is into the game for the Orange. Baldwin struggles from the free throw line, but looked pretty good on those two. Six straight for the Wolfpack over the last 100 seconds. The Asia Fair hits the three, and just like that, the Orange right back in. Well, so far, to start this one early, it's not looking like another three of 18 outing. She looked good on that three-point shot. She could cross over 2,300 points in her career tonight. Baldwin can't hit it with a left hand. Here comes Fair on the bounce. Sets up Hyman. Hyman lost the handle, thought she was fouled, no call. JBT the other way, takes it, makes it. And that was a great job by Brown Turner. The defense turning into offense for NC State. And that's a travel. NC State, we talked about the leadership qualities that Brown Turner has for this team, a player that shows it by example and leads by example, but Coach Moore always looking for more from her. Strong take, Jada Boyd, three for nine in her return, missed the previous four games. Full to get Diamond Johnson back soon. She did some light running around today. We've been told she's been practicing a little bit, but uh, that rolled ankle back on December 11th. She's a great passer, and she can score the ball. She's this team's leading scorer for NC State. Hayes rebounds the miss. Brown Turner knocks down the three. So is Kennedy Perkins. Tough shot. Oh, but ripped away. Fresh possession created by McEvans. And Syracuse cannot buy a bucket. Boyd goes to work, drives past Woolley, and draws the foul on the helper strong. <laughs> she did. If it's not broke, then don't fix it. And I think, you know, she's big on that, trying to bring some of that culture that she was teaching at Buffalo. A bunch of Wofford Terriers to Blacksburg, and they asked, oh, can the SOCON players play in the ACC? Zaya James... She's picked up her scoring lately inside to Baldwin. Great position for two. 
That was a great pass by James to Baldwin. Knew she had the mismatch and the height advantage, and she just turns around and scores it. And he got fair right back. Almost like there's a radar. We need a bucket. Asia <laughs> go make something happen. She's got five and the long Syracuse drought. Baldwin from the baseline. On the glass. That was a key for NC State, and Madison Hayes delivers. Offensively, NC State's doing a great job of spacing out against Syracuse's man-to-man -man and then clogging the lane on the defensive end, making it tough for Syracuse. Two zip second chance points. And get defensive rebounds. You see right here, she's trying to recover. And Bad pass lane. stolen by Fair. She'll get a gift. Probably one of the easiest buckets she'll have all evening. But she is lightning quick and look just like the steal in this pass right here. Nick Evans pulls up and fouled by Brown Turner. What Syracuse has done, bad pass right there on that last one. And Fair just has an easy layup. And here's the steal right here. Fair is able to recover. And now you have Syracuse going to the line for two shots. Feels like the tempo has completely shifted. It has, but either way, they took so much time off the clock. Timmons missed the runner. Baldwin's put back is good. <laughs> Woolley to Fair, looking for Lewis. Loose ball, jump ball. That turnover earns DeAsia Fair a seat on the bench for a moment. Can't imagine she'll be out too long. She's third in the ACC in minutes per game. Third in the ACC in scoring. Fourth and assist, second and steals. Baldwin doesn't get the roll. Collins on the glass. Mimi Collins to the line. Well, Coach Moore is still trying to figure out these lineups. It, it really hurts them that Johnson's still out, but he's trying to see what he can make happen until he can get her back in this lineup. Hyman lost her airspace. Went up, didn't know where she was going with it. Strong screen from Baldwin. Collins finds herself open. Round it out. Important 35 seconds here for Syracuse to try to get it back to six or seven as opposed to letting it balloon to 11 or 12. Lewis. Two. Eight seconds in the quarter. Rivers sets up Brown Turner. Missed it. Hyman the rebound, and that will end the opening quarter. Another big win for the Clemson Tigers today after beating Virginia Tech. On Thursday, they edge Wake Forest by one at Little John. The Clemson in the top half of the league at two and one. James swings it. Brown Turner comes up short, gets her own miss. And that's what Syracuse cannot allow to happen. Another offensive rebound. Nice finish, Isaiah James hanging and scoring in the lane. Virginia Tech bouncing back from their loss at Clemson by edging North Carolina, Georgia Amor making three free throws with less than two seconds to go to break the tie in Blacksburg earlier this afternoon. Wood, nice move in the lane. Kyra Wood gets her first field goal. Wood just a sophomore, but she has really put on a nice display early in this game with some nice post moves and rebounds for Syracuse. Second start of the season tonight for Kyra Wood. Boyd, extra pass for Timmons. Another offensive rebound. Brown Turner lost it, but it bounces to Hobby, who missed the layup. Rebounded by Lewis. Ahead, Nick Evans. Wes Moore in his 34th season as a head coach, presumably, <laughs> for the 33rd time in 34 seasons. That's incredible. 
NC State has guards that are six feet, six one, playing the perimeter. So it makes it tough to get in the paint and finish some of those shots. Hobby knocks it down. Lead back up to nine. Fair dishes. Wooly converts. Great hands by Rivers. He's so long and athletic. And Rivers pays it off with two at the other end. Hyman. Travel. <laughs> but it's not usually on Sunday right. under the lights at 7 o'clock. It's a rare Sunday evening ACC game. Tisha Hyman just picked up her second foul, and she goes to the bench. No points in 13 minutes. Yeah, just a few nights ago. 11 of 20 from the floor against the Cardinals. Game that Syracuse felt it could have won. I mean, it was tight late. Louisville ended up winning by nine. Cardinals had to shoot 52% to do it. Hughes was just 6 of 18 from 3. Woolley finds a spot knocks it down. And hopefully that gets Woolley's confidence going. I mean, she hadn't seen the ball fall. And that's a ball handler that's gone for NC State. Something yeah. that they've been struggling with. Collins pass deflected and stolen by Wood. Syracuse really missed a chance. They had 5 on 4 and didn't get any points. Here's Woolley. Step back 3. He said it. Once you see one fall, you're going to continue to let it fly. And Coach Jack loves Woolley's game, and she's a shooter, and that was a big three. Silky smooth from Woolley. Rivers answers at the other end for the Wolfpack. And that's what Coach Moore needs from Rivers. She has the capability of scoring the basketball. We've already seen defensively what she can do with her athleticism. Fair missed a three, but rebounded. By Wood, right back to Fair. Love this matchup. Fair goes to Rivers and scores over her. Yeah, Fair said, not this time. I'm going to get you with the cross up and the finish. Nice runner and finish by Fair. This is a game. They're going after it. Orange back within six. Final minute here the first half. Brown Turner to Baldwin, uses her size. Lays it in with the left hand. And that was a good, strong move by Baldwin. That's something she can get all night if she just aggressively goes to the basket. Eight first-half points for River Baldwin. Nice pass, but it's negated by an offensive foul. Good positioning. She's able to get the charge call. Final seconds of the half. Rivers to Timmons with seven. Brown Turner, step back three. Unable to beat the buzzer here. And Syracuse will hang on to an eight-point deficit. As a player, do you feel all the fans standing and clapping? I do, and I'm like, I know they can feel it on the court. I'm feeling it with the headset. Hayes for three. May have gotten a piece of it fair on the run by. Both pack have come up empty on their first two trips to begin the second half. Syracuse trying to break the scoring seal here in the third. Lewis does start the second half after not starting the first quarter. Rivers the other way, lays it in. And that's what Coach Moore wants to see. You see him clapping it up, but that's what NC State needs to do more of right now. They're not getting much in their half-court sets, but they are continuing to get rebounds, and they can run as soon as they rebound the basketball. Woolley, top of the key three. Now the crowd can sit down after that first basket was knocked down. Woolley hits a big three. Battle for the loose ball. Syracuse comes up with it. Ahead, Woolley. One on four. She'll pop and hit. <laughs> with the three ball. And had the tongue out like, yeah, I know I can knock them down. Some type of rhythm. Right now they're totally out of sync. Air ball long from Brown Turner. Syracuse sprinting down the floor. Hyman pulls up. Keisha Hyman continues to struggle. She's 0 for 5. Remains scoreless. Brown Turner just gives it away again. This is Isaiah James is not only available in the second half, she's back out there on the floor. Oh, that's great. So what could have been a really you know, long-term injury when she rolled that ankle, she's back in. And 
That's a relief for Wolfpack fans. Lewis, deep two, it's good. And she just turned around and faced up Hobby and knocks the J in her face. Great move. Close, Syracuse has been Woolley, tips it away. Georgia Woolley has tied it up here at the Dome. And right now, NC State's energy level is down. They're frustrated. Syracuse has all the momentum to start this one. You can tell that Coach Jack has something to do with it with her halftime speech. Uh, Woolley's second three that she hit that rattled in. Coach Jack had a great fist pump over there. After giving the ball away, she remains on the bench here. What, what's Wes Moore's message? Player that has really stepped up as a definite or definitive leader for this team. River Baldwin made her first three free throw attempts of the night before missing that last one. After the night was 37%. Bad pass there, easily picked off by NC State. Rivers with a head of steam going downhill. Kind of ran out of room. Good defense by Syracuse to stop her once she got to the paint with Andy a nice Collins. turnaround. She's been quiet, but Collins is very capable of scoring in the paint. And maybe that's more of what we need to see from NC State. They need to capitalize on the size advantage that they have in the paint. That pass. Well, they're pretty close. Wolfpack well, lead by three. It's been a tight game. <laughs> Naya Rivers inside Collins. And Collins is able to draw the foul. Now look at the five that NC State has on the floor right now. You get River Baldwin, three years for Sue Semrau and Brooke Wyckoff in Florida State. Madison Hayes began her career at Mississippi State. You got Sanaya Rivers, who played for Don Staley in the Gamecocks last year. I mean, right. every team around college basketball practically has that story, but it's just something to marvel at. Yeah, no team's the same. A lot of... It's a blocking foul. Um, and one opportunity here for De'Asia Fair. 6-5 against 5-5 five, five with the finish. No question, Baldwin's feet in that restricted area is a secondary defender. Automatic call for the block. Three-point play for Fair. The Asia's got a dozen. Wide open in the corner. Great look wouldn't fall for Hayes. Orange could take their first lead since it was 2-0. Are you kidding me? The Asia Fair with a kiss. Oh. Yeah, my mouth was wide open on that. When I saw her let it fly, I'm like, no way. That was high off the glass. Nice finish and... That is a player that NC State does not want to see going in this game. Orange in front for the first time since the opening minutes of the first quarter. Defense nearly creating another steal. It'll stay NC State ball with five to shoot on the arrow. I mean, that was an incredible shot. Spectacular stuff. Into the backcourt, James with two, launches a prayer, it doesn't go. Rebound ripped down by the orange, Kyra Wood with another board. Fair, feeling it. Baldwin had the miss, lost it, finds the Asia Fair again. And Fair is so quick, that was a nice offensive rebound that she secured off of her own miss, but it gives Syracuse another opportunity at another shot. Woolley from the wing, got it! Right now, Syracuse has all the momentum in this one. Three Wolfpack subs are awaiting the next whistle at the scorer's table. Madison Hayes, oh, great move, but could not finish. Bold pass, Woolley has it. Syracuse extends the lead. And Fair is loving it, giving Woolley the nice high five. Good catch by the sophomore and finish. Oh, my. That was Josh Allen to Stefan Big stuff right there. Again, this time, fair on the receiving end, and she missed the layup. Battle for the board. Lewis keeps it alive, but no, it was out of bounds. Too so many easy looks for Syracuse. Brown Turner, Boyd, Hobby all back in along with Rivers and Hayes. Boyd to the bucket. No. Battle for the rebound. Finds fair. Fair, one on two. Pulls up short. 
offensive rebound, the rejection. Asia Strong knocks in the three. Shot clock is off. Boyd, no, rebound, Syracuse. Orange have outscored NC State 23 to six in the third. Nifty dribble, flip shot, wouldn't go. Final second, kicks away. And NC State is on the ropes here at the Dome. How about all the Aussies in the ACC? We saw Amor do it today for Virginia Tech. She is top two. All right, Brown Turner, can she get it going here in the fourth? Only five points tonight for Jakia. Hobby, good position, power dribble. They're giving post touches, touches so they can get looks. They have the height advan advantage inside. Her dad, a coach on the Cincinnati Bengals staff, they play in a huge Monday night football battle that her teammates have done the work around her. Wild shot from Lewis, kept alive. Fair in the corner, takes it. I mean, they get a lot of shots, Syracuse. They weren't able to knock them down, but a lot of opportunities. And one opportunity for Sanaya Rivers. And she's been quiet. That was just a great move. I mean, great athleticism. She she has a lot of potential for this NC State team. The type of move that made her the National Player of the Year coming out of high school. One of the great high school players. Gives Syracuse another chance at it. Fair, bursting to the bucket. But Hobby comes up with a miss. Round Turner for two. Almost ran over Lewis. Fair for three. Rebound Rivers. Up ahead. Ambitious pass. It works out though. And Hayes brings the Wolf Pack within one. That's a big time finish. Step back. Hobby the rebound. You see Rivers trying to slow it down a bit. See if NC State can get something going in their offensive sets. Syracuse has been very good in clogging that lane in the second half, making it difficult. Say, it doesn't feel like it, but the Orange haven't scored here in this fourth quarter. And NC State is back in front. Big time shot by Hayes. Scoring drought north of seven minutes continues as Woolley misses wide right. 11 nothing NC State so far here in the fourth. Willie's tip out of bounds, arguing Brown Turner touched it. They're paying it back to Syracuse, Syracuse holding them scoreless. Outscored him 23 to six in the third. NC State up by two, out of the timeout. Hobby extends the lead. And that was a big shot by Hobby. She took her time, turned around with a one hand, hand shot. But that was a good pass by Brown Turner. She has been making things happen for NC State in the fourth. Both Pack have really dialed in defensively in this fourth quarter. You see it. It's a different energy level from this team. Sure is. Syracuse looking for some daylight, struggling to find it. Over Hayes. It's Elena Rice scoring her first points of the night. On a nice step back pull up. Into Hayes. Boyd. A oh, beautiful pass to Hobby. And that might be the best play that Jada Boyd has had tonight. She was frustrated for so long, but that was a critical pass and nice finish. Before the shot. Orange not in the bonus, so back on offense. Fair. Gets it right back from Lewis. Offensive rebound, Rice. And she's rejected by Boyd. Stays with it and scores. Florida A&M, Auburn, and now Syracuse with the Florida native with four points in the last minute to keep the Orange in it. NC State by two with the ball. Final minute of this holiday weekend here at the Dome. This has been a game. Um, I think something we expected coming in. To tonight, but these teams are battling and it's going down to the wire. Blocking foul on Lewis to the dismay of Coach Jack. All right, 10 to shoot, 32 in the game. 
Sanaya Rivers almost had it stolen. Retains possession. Brown Turner with two. Brown Turner gets it to Hobby. It's a shot clock violation, but they don't call it. And there's an offensive rebound. Boyd keeps it alive. Syracuse has it. I don't think Hobby got that shot off. Nearly a foul on the backboard. Syracuse down by two with 10 seconds. Ball in the hands of DeAsia Fair. Now Woolley. Woolley gets the foul, and she'll shoot two with 5.5 to go. What a turn of events. I mean, on one end, should have been a shot clock violation, but it wasn't called. NC State almost secured the offensive board, but then Woolley on the other end drives it hard and gets the foul. Exactly what you need to do with the time winding down in this one. See if you can make something happen in the paint or draw a foul so you can get to the free throw line. First free throws of the night for Georgia Woolley. Smooth. This next one is massive. NC State has three timeouts, so they can advance the ball if they want. But the free throw is no good. NC State by one and a quick timeout. NC State won the last five meetings against the Orange. Dakia Brown Turner is going to inbound in front of the Wolfpack bench. Gets it into Hobby. She's tied up. It's Syracuse ball. 3.9 remaining. What a game. This has been two games in a row for us that have been incredible. And what a performance by Syracuse. Hyman to inbound. Throws it up high, and it's misplayed by Lewis off her fingertips. Syracuse needs a steal. They throw the length of the court. Rivers has the breakaway pass. She's fouled by DeAsia Fair. Rivers has two free throws. Syracuse will not be able to advance the ball. Is happy that she was able to knock down that first one, and if she's able to knock down the second one, Syracuse will need a big shot. Rivers one for two. Woolley three quarters court. She didn't get it off, and NC State escapes at the dome 56 54. What a game! What a game.